All right, three days in and no signs of giving up. The son of infamous illegal rancher Cliven Bundy is now making a name for himself this new year. Ammon Bundy is leading that takeover of a government building at a wildlife refuge in Oregon. So far, it's been peaceful, but Bundy and his group are armed and mince no words about it. They say that they're not going anywhere. So joining me now to continue the occupation in Oregon talk is Emmy award-winning legal and media analyst Lionel of Lionel Media. Lionel, happy new year, my friend. Good to see you. Same to you. Now, let's talk legality of this uh, stunt from Ammon Bundy. Uh, it, w it would appear that uh, the Bundys don't like the rules surrounding the federal government and, and the assets Gee. they have. <laughs> the younger Gee. Bundy, the younger Bundy, he's claiming that he's he's fighting against things like eminent domain. Does does he actually have a leg to stand on here, though? Well, first of all, you have M Ammon, and then you have Ryan and Cliven. I don't know where Cliven is. And let me give you a couple of hints. You know how you can tell somebody doesn't know anything about the Constitution? When wow. they hold up the Constitution, <laughs> except for me, when they go like this, the Constitution is like the Bible and Ayn Rand. Nobody's read it. So all of a sudden, all of a sudden, Jethro and a bunch of yokels decide that they're going to interpret the Constitution. And they've looked at Article One and another's, and that what, what they're saying is, well, if something is not in the Constitution itself, if something is not there using a strict constructionist attitude, then therefore it doesn't exist. Let me tell you a couple of things. There's nothing in the Constitution about congressional districts or the exclusionary rule or marriage or the separation of church and state or the Air Force or the number of Supreme Court justices. <laughs> what you're seeing right now is this confused and, 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 and muddled exercise of something that, by the way, is playing into the hands of the very people who are trying to restrict firearms, which apparently is, is against this, this particular group. And what they're doing is, if I didn't know better, and I'm not suggesting this, but if I didn't know better, I would swear these were plants by the administration <laughs> to make everybody decry this notion of a militia. They're not a militia. I don't know what this is. You would call I, them a I, militia? I, hold, hold it right there, though. They are armed to the teeth, Lionel. They make no qualms about it. They're armed to the teeth. A lot of people are, are criticizing, saying um, that the, the lack of police presence or the lack of FBI presence where these armed men have taken over a government building, um, is it because they're white, that there no, no uh, for armed forces Wait, are right. showing up? Meanwhile, POTUS is on his gun control tour, uh, now on his final year in office. Does, does this all mesh together, Manila. in your opinion? Manila, it's 20 <laughs> questions you just gave me. What are you doing to me? <laughs> It's the first part of the year. First and foremost, number one, the Capone mob had guns. They didn't make them a militia. Look, there are people in this country, myself included, who believe in rational Second Amendment rights, who believe that people like this are actually doing more to harm the rights of rational, law-abiding, tax-paying citizens who don't want to take over anything. Look, this started when the Hammonds were sentenced to a five-year minimum mandatory by a federal judge. It won an appeal, it came back. The Hammonds, the, the subject of this, right. are saying, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, don't, don't, don't include us in this. Clive and Bundy is saying, whoa, whoa, wait, wait a minute. What this is is, this is apparently a, a, a mosh pit of, of celebrity-seeking people. This maundered, confused sense of constitutional rights and privilege, but you bring up a good point. A lot of folks are saying, look what happens when you have a bunch of people who are well-armed. There's, no there's no action against this. There's no 82nd Airborne. Where's all this 1033 stuff that we talk about? The MRAPs and the right. militarized <laughs> police. Right. A lot of people are saying, you know, there's something to be said for this. No, but apparently they've won. They are being treated certainly a lot differently than, than anybody else that would be armed anywhere else in the country. Uh, we got to leave that right there, Lionel. Thank you so much for that. Enlightening as usual. That was legal and media analyst Thank Lionel you. of Lionel Media.